I'm Billy Lake here with Something Fishy, and today we're checking out the Break Hotel in Narragansett. And it's in such a beautiful location, this hotel, and it's no surprise that right inside they have a beautiful aquarium exhibit. This is when you first walk in to the, into the lobby here, and it's literally the first thing that you see. A beautiful fish right in front of you, surrounded by some really awesome beach uh, decor, very modern look. So this is a 400 gallon uh, saltwater reef exhibit. It's all live corals and all of our fish are doing great in here. And this is uh, custom millwork and a, a custom bow front tank. And all of the filtration and everything for this exhibit is actually downstairs in the basement. So we're down in the basement now checking out the filtration for the brakes um, fish tank and all of this that you see here is really the accumulation of everything that we go through during the install process and that all starts with the project management and choosing where to lay out all of the equipment. So we specifically determine where we want to put this equipment and that we wanted it up on a stand so that it's easy to work on. You could reach all of your equipment like your skimmer, your filter pads, um, all of this stuff is really easy to access. And then you've even got a sink right nearby so that you can easily wash the skimmer that's, that's right next to you. It's all process and it's all part of organizing our tanks so that they're as easy to maintain as possible. It also really follows that lean principle of making things and those steps in between as short as possible to get to accomplish your task. And then we also house down here all of the, um, the equipment for making the, the water for the fish tank. So this has two bins, one's for storing brand new water and then the other is for mixing up water and we use that to do our water changes. So even that is really nice and simple. It's right next to our tank so that's easy. There's a valve right over here that you can fill straight to the tank and there's one plumbed upstairs too and we have the pump on a three-way switch so that we can actually turn it down we can turn it on upstairs and downstairs so if we wanted to fill in the basement we can fill down here or if we wanted to fill up at the tank we can fill, fill, fill the water up there as well so all the space is utilized down here uh, we even have a spot for the client to keep their food, so all of the frozen food and any coral foods and additives, they can all be in this space too. So when water, in order to, to clean the water through in the fish tank, it actually flows in from our tank through this pipe here, then goes into this section, which houses our filter pads and some chemical filtration. Then the water flows through here into this bin where it's cleaned by the, the protein skimmer. And then it's actually sucked into pumps on the side of the tank where it then gets pumped up, up over to our chiller, then back over, up over to our UV, and that gets pumped back into the sump, and then the other part of it will go back to the tank. So that line up there is our feed back into the aquarium, and then you get that recirculation coming from the top of your tank. So just like for all of our tanks, it's, it's no different. Whether you've got a small hang on the back tank or a, a plumbed large system like this one, it's all the same equipment. We have your heaters, we have a UV, this tank's a little bit larger, so it's got a chiller on it just in case for temperature. But other than that, it's really all the same equipment. It's just a larger size to fit uh, the larger amount of water. So as you can see, this equipment takes up a lot of space. So underneath the tank up there is really not the best spot for it. It's just not going to fit. Try fitting this underneath your fish tank. It's not gonna happen. So it's really good to have all of your stuff, all of your filtration 
in a different location um, so that you can have access to all of your equipment and be able to move around. You don't want to be cramped underneath your fish tank um, if you don't have to be. So it also helps to have it down here because the, it helps reduce noise. So you also get noise reduction. You don't hear the crash of the water as much and you don't hear the pumps when you're upstairs at the aquarium. It really helps to minimize the amount of noise when you're, uh, when you're viewing your fish tank. You just want to be seeing the fish. So all of the plumbing that you see here, it's all standardized. It's all the same thing we use on our smaller systems and all the way up to our bigger systems. It's all the same type of plumbing. Uh, the way that we have all of our valves and unions, it's all to a standard. Um, so when our installers come out for a job, all they have to do is reference uh, a document that says, all right, make sure that you put your valves this way and your unions this way. This piece of equipment comes after this one makes it as simple as possible, makes it really easy to install a tank, and then to manage it afterward. So you can really tell how much planning goes into this tank. So it took about, it took two guys, two days to install this tank, and that's really because of all of the planning that went uh, into this tank ahead of time. So we work with the, the mill workers and the electricians and the, the licensed plumbers on these jobs in order to make sure that we have all of the equipment and all of the outlets and the water sources for our equipment uh, in place before we go and install this tank. And what that does is it really helps to make sure that the install process goes as smoothly as possible. So I'll go and just start talking a bit down there. So as you can see, I've got a, a real good pro tip for you guys that are starting to work on your aquarium companies. Always make sure that you hire really short installers. You gotta fit into these tight spaces. It's not always easy, um, so it's a little cramped. But one thing I wanna go over while I'm down here is when we we're working on the project management for this, is we actually had a, a drain installed right here in, inside the stand so that when you're doing your water change, it's really easy to do that. And you don't have to be running hoses all over the, over the floor, disrupting the guests, causing a trip hazard. So thanks for checking out the Break Hotel with us. Uh, I'm Billy Lake with Something Fishy. Uh, just be sure to, to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks.